Hello, hello, and welcome to another great episode of Distilled, Brewed, and Reviewed. My name is John. I'm going to be taking you on this journey today. Let me just tell you that uh, this channel reviews everything that has anything to do with alcohol and coffee. Yeah, and I got a beautiful playlist just for you to go play in. Go check it out. Check out the playlist. You'll see what I review. You'll see those categories. Today, I'm doing something fun. I'm doing something interesting. <clears throat> I really like Woodford Reserve, right? Brown Foreman product. Uh, and I enjoy also the double oaked. Okay. Now, Woodford Reserve double oaked is uh, 90.4 proof, all right? 90.4 proof, 45.2% alcohol by volume. And then Brown Foreman put out under Old Forester, same company makes it. The Old Forester 1910, Old Fine Whiskey, 93 proof, 96.5% alcohol by volume. Identical as far as you could not tell the difference between four um, percentage points of alcohol. This is less than one. And here that is. This, the Old Forester, the story goes, that they had a fire at the bottling plant in 1910. And they had to do something with the whiskey that they were bottling because the bottling plant was destroyed. So they stuck it in a brand new oak charred barrel, basically the first double oak whiskey. It's very good. The double oaked is done uh, on purpose. Now, you know, it wasn't an accident. Now that thing, it's a thing. So they double oaked this. They put it in a brand new oak charred barrel, just like the 1910. Here's some of the differences. The, uh, the uh, proof is basically identical. All right. The Woodford is put into the second barrel for up to 12 months, and it's a number three char. It's about 40 seconds under flame. The 1910 is put into a second barrel for up to 24 months, not 12, 24. And it's not a number three char, it's a number four char, right? So twice as long, one char up, it's about 55 seconds under flame. I believe the old Forester is four years old, give or take. Um, the Woodford is about six or seven. It's older, but then that one's aged another year in the second barrel, and the second barrel has a deeper char. So I'm just setting up the parameters for this fight. I don't care who wins. I love them both. I've never compared them, so I'm excited, okay? I like Woodford. I like Woodford Double Oaked. And I like this. It's my favorite of the um, Whiskey Rose series. So now it's occurred to me I should compare them. Same company making them. Almost, you know, and you know what the difference is now. So the one to the over here is going to be it's Old Forester. All right. Old Forester here. Here comes the Woodford. I'm looking at the color, and what do you think? Old Forester, Woodford. They look pretty close. Look up to the light. Maybe the Old Forester is the slightest bit darker. Now you would say, but the other one's older. It is, but the Old Forester put into a deeper char in the second barrel for a year longer. Both of them have the same mash bill, 72% corn, 18% rye, 10% malted barley. So, here we go. Exciting for me anyway. I hope you're enjoying it. And the price is about the same. This is crazy. Now, I've done reviews on, on these. I have a playlist that's just for Old Forest. So, check that out. I'm not going to go into it. I'm just going to see what one's better. Nose is different. Yeah, nose is different. Just looking on a white piece of paper. I'm going to say that the old forest is, is slightly darker. Yeah. 
I'm going to go with a slight edge on the 1910 on the nose. Very slight. Uh, but there's enough difference to where some people might like the other one. They're going to probably notice it. Let me do an acclimation sip with the 1910. And then we'll go to the double oaked. I'm just going to get whatever flavors I have in my mouth from eating, drink coffee earlier. Neutralize my palate. And then we'll go in for the actual taste. Now, I've reset my palate. I've erased whatever flavor was in there. Now I'm going to go with the taste of the 1910. Then I will reset my palate with the old forts or double oak. And we're going for that taste. You know, it's interesting. It's a beautiful thing. Almost identical proof. Both of them double barreled. You know a little bit of difference there. Same company, Old Forster. I mean, uh, uh, Brown Foreman making them. Cheers, my friends. You had these, you should really do this along with me. And then I'd be interested in hearing your, uh, what you got in the comments below. All right. Let me reset the palate. Then we'll go and I'll get rid of the taste of the 1910. All right. 1910's been gone now to double oaks in there but now we'll go in for the actual taste surprising Before I commit to this and do it one more time, I'm looking at one thing. The smell is very close. It's just a slight edge to me on the 1910. That can go either way. Reset the palate. Just looking for one thing. I'll have it here in a second. We'll do this second one, and then I'll, if it's the same as it was the last time, I'll make, make the announcement. Just erasing. All right, resetting the palette. Let me go. So here's the here's the thing. The 1910. <laughs> here it is. The flavor up front before you swallow while it's in your mouth and when you immediately swallow. I have a slight difference of just a little bit better on the chocolate part of it on the double oaked. However, and this is what's kind of surprising to me. The 1910 is aged an extra year in the double O, the second barrel. But the Woodford initially is aged um, four, five, six, three or four years more in the barrel. The reason I'm pointing this out is the aftertaste is a lot more bitter and tannic on the double O than it is in 1910. And the only thing I contribute to that is maybe the initial length of the uh, Woodford in the barrel and probably the fact that this is a number four char and that number four char as opposed to number three char and that uh, whiskey passing in and out of that thicker char level and more charcoal has taken that bitterness out. 
So since the flavor is slightly better, I think, and I mean, this is very slight, just like the nose is very, very slight. And by itself, they're both giant winners because you don't have to compare them. Maybe slightly better on the double oaked, and but I love the 1910. But the finish on the 1910 is so much better. So because I'm not getting that bitterness, kind of ruining almost the initial sweetness and chocolateness, I'm going to go slight edge for me personally on the 1910. I like the 1910 better now. Well, we'll do a regular Woodford against the uh, Old Forester and see what happens there. But for this one, that's my verdict.